Did you know if you're an international student living in the US, you are exempted from FICA taxes and you can actually get a refund from the IRS? If that sounds like you, then follow along because today we are going to be talking about what are FICA taxes and who is exempted from it. Hi guys, this is Priya from It's OKR and welcome back to our channel. And if you're new today, It's OKR is a content platform for South Asian immigrants and we aim to educate, entertain and empower them. So let's understand what is a FICA tax. If you have worked in the US and you look at your salary slip, you will notice that there are social security taxes and Medicare taxes being deducted from your salary slip. If you ask around, you will be told these are called FICA taxes. FICA taxes are Federal Insurance Contributions Act and it is basically comprised of two things. One is Medicare and one is Social Security. Medicare is your hospital insurance tax and Social Security is basically for old age survivors or anyone with disability. And those two combined together is called a FICA tax. So the current rate for Social Security is 6.2% for employer and employee. For Medicare, it's 1.45% for employer and employee. And there's an additional 0.9% tax for incomes over 250K if you are filing married and filing jointly, 125K if you're married and filing separately, and 200K if you're single. So now let's understand what FICA taxes mean for non-residents. Even non-residents in the US are expected to pay the FICA taxes. However, there is one category that is exempt from these taxes. If you came here for a single intent purpose, that is you came here for a certain uh, purpose in a certain visa category and you're going to go back once that purpose is over. Or if you're an international student that came on the F1 visa, then you're exempted from these FICA taxes. So now let's understand the visa categories and the workers that are exempted from it. Visa categories of students like F1 visa holders, M1 visa, Q1 visa, non-resident alien students, scholars, professors, teachers, trainees, researchers, physicians, au pairs, summer camp workers and other aliens temporarily present in the United States are exempted from FICA taxes. As long as they are performing the services, they work supposed to carry out on the visa that was issued to them. Now let's understand some specific cases where FICA tax exemption is valid. So if you're a student who's working on campus up to 20 hours a week or 40 hours during summer vacations, off-campus student employment allowed by the USCIS, practical training student employment on or off campus, F1 CPT4 or F1 OPT4, Employment as a professor, teacher or researcher, employment as a physician, au pair or a summer camp worker. So now let's discuss your options if your employer has deducted these taxes if you are on an F1 visa. So you can do two things. Number one, you can talk to your employer about a refund. Number two, you can claim the refund from IRS using Form 843. And now let's quickly understand the documents you will need to file Form 843. A copy of your form W-2 to prove the amount of Social Security and Medicare taxes withheld. A copy of the page from your passport with the visa stamp. INS form I-94. If applicable, INS form I-538 certification by designated school official. A statement from your employer indicating the amount of reimbursement your employer provided and the amount of credit or refund your employer claimed or that you authorized your employer to claim. If you cannot obtain this statement from your employer, you must provide this information on your own statement and explain why you are not attaching a statement from your employer. If applicable, Form 8316, information regarding request for refund of secu social security tax withheld on wages received by a non-resident alien on F, J and M type visa. What we will also do is link the list of these documents in the description box. You can go check it out. Everything we mentioned in the video will be there written on our blog as well so that you can refer as needed. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe and share it with someone who will actually find it helpful. Till next time, it's OKR. Okay,